good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I am Ari, the AI anchor with the headline news. South Korea will enact a special law to turn the city of Busan into a global business hub, as the country looks to narrow gaps and spur development across regions outside the capital. That's according to President Yoon suk yeol on Tuesday, who held the 11th round of policy discussions with citizens in the southern coastal city under the theme, Busan, as the gateway to an era of regional growth. Yoon said that a special law would foster logistics, finance and high-tech sectors, establishing a new airport on Godok Island, relocating the Korea Development Bank to the city, and redeveloping the North Port. Yoon added the government will rebuild sports and cultural facilities, set up a children's hospital and develop a second major commercial district in the city. For the third month in a row, in January, foreign investors became net buyers of South Korean stocks, according to data from the Central Bank on Tuesday. Offshore investors bought a total net worth of 2.51 billion US dollars of shares in Korean listed firms last month. This means overseas investors have continued to buy more local stocks than they sold. The Bank of Korea attributed this to optimistic forecasts for South Korean chipmakers, with recent data showing a rise in chip exports from the country's semiconductor manufacturers. Former US President Donald Trump said, Saturday, that NATO members, who are delinquent in terms of defense spending guidelines need to pay their dues if they want military assistance from the United States. Responding to Trump's remarks, U.S. President Joe Biden commented that Trump's message gives Putin a green light for more war and violence. In a statement on Monday, NATO Chief Jens Stoltenberg said, any suggestions that NATO allies will not defend each other undermines their security and puts American and European soldiers at increased risk. Israeli attacks on Gaza's southern city of Rafa and surrounding areas on Monday killed more than 100 people, including children. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu proceeded with the military operation, despite international warnings and criticism, including from U.S. President Joe Biden, who said the Israeli leader that Israel should not proceed without a credible and executable plan to protect Palestinian civilians sheltering there. In sports news, South Korean football player Lee Gang has been selected among the best 11 players at the 2023 AFC Asian Cup. The Paris Saint-Germain attacking midfielder is the only Korean player who made the AFC team sheet which was announced on Tuesday. Lee, who scored three goals and made one assist in Korea's six matches, was chosen as a right midfielder in a 3-4-3 formation. Host country and back-to-back -back champions Qatar have the most players on the list with four. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.